So what are some of the different parts of a habitat that you would be looking for mushrooms? So with the mushrooms that grow on a tree, I'm looking for old hardwood, which is what we have here. But then things like lion's mane and anokitaki, they like to grow on dead and dying wood. So I'm looking in a direction where we might see more dead wood logs down. So over there would probably be a good start. Mm -hmm. okay. And then we can do a big circle. So usually looking yeah. for dead fallen trees, but also your eye line can go up too. Is that right for right. mushrooms? Right, that's the thing. Fall mushroom hunting is floor to ceiling. <laughs> this is my type of nature walk. I'm not trying to get the calories burned. I'm not trying to keep my heart rate up. I'm taking my time and observing and just taking and breathing in nature. Yeah, absolutely. I think that's so important, especially for our mental health is force bathing yes. and, 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 be, and further to that, beyond that is like, you know, actually stopping and recognizing what is growing here and growing a deeper connection and understanding with nature. Soaking it all in. Okay, yes. let's head that way. Yes, that way. That I looks a like a promising area. I feel like meeting Ruthie has been so refreshing for me. She knows so much. She's already taught me how to actually edit the way and critique the way that I look at things. I feel that all of my senses have become a lot more in tune to the world around me after just spending a morning with her foraging in the in the forests. Oh, I see lion's mane. Do you? Yes. Wait, 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 wait. Wait, or is it? Yes, that is you definitely do. Oh it, right? my God, it's huge. <laughs> Oh, baby, come to Oh, my baby, no way. Now we're going to have to get someone to give us a boost. <laughs> I will boost you, don't worry. Oh, my. Oh. There we go. That's how it happens sometimes. I caught it, don't worry. Bear's tooth actually totally falls apart like this. How amazing is that? The way it's growing almost like little like waterfalls. A, yeah, it's like a, it's, it's the, the way I describe it is it's a cross between coral and lion's mane. So it has that coral branches, totally but it has like the coral. lion's mane toothiness. Now we got to figure out how we're going to get the other piece. Oh, I'm, I'm not worried. <laughs> I'm ready. In North America, we're looking at about 10,000 different species. Within those species, there's over 50,000 mushrooms. Of those, there is 10% of that that is edible. There is a small fraction of those that are also medicinal. When you see the mushroom, the mushroom is the fruiting body of a huge network underneath the soil called mycelium. And what we see in the different seasons, fruiting on tree or on the soil is basically the fruit from that mycelium. Now, the mycelium is an interesting thing because it has recently been discovered and studied as the telephone network between trees, uh, mushrooms, and other plant species. So it's basically like the little can on one side and the mycelium going to the tree on the other side and they're ch chatting with each other. And that network is basically all encompassing. It's under every single step that you take anywhere. It doesn't matter if it's an urbanized area to a completely non-people area up north, as well as underneath the water. It's basically a blanket underneath the soil all around the world. Before you go to do this, what are you attempting to do is you're trying to remove the whole head that's growing off yeah. or are you trying to purposely leave a little bit behind? No, actually, I'm not trying to leave any behind because uh -huh. the tree already has mycelium running through it. Okay. It is a parasitic mushroom, 100% related to this tree and the tree life. Okay, let's get this guy down. Ooh. Oh, should I try to catch it? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> oh, oh. oh. <laughs> sorry. <laughs> that was me. Fail. See, and see how it stayed but together? That one stayed fully together. Yeah, that's a beautiful lion's mane. Yeah. If you're gonna learn one mushroom a year, I think that this one is, A, it's easy to identify. Yeah, it's totally It was easy. easy to spot. I spot it from, you know, 100 feet away, let's say. Yeah. And it has so many health properties associated with it. Absolutely. Like it's insanely good for your mind, your brain, brain injuries. Brain injuries, spinal cord injuries. Excellent for sleeping. Um, there's immune mobilizing. And all three in the Heresian family have the same effects. Wow. All right. What a score. Oh <laughs> my God. Okay, I could actually go home happy now. Well, we're going to find more. That's just the beginning. <laughs>